This is the door employees would use at the former Mount Fuji Inn, once it opens for business as Candy's, a bikini bar. The business model and location near 72nd and Blondo have been controversial. You know, we're trying to run a, a, a legit business here. You know, some of the plans that we had originally we did away with. We were going to have some private areas there. You can see the place is totally open, so we're not going to have any secret rooms or anything like that. Raymond Kurtzuba says he's updated the building with new furniture, carpet, a stage area, and bar. Kurtzuba tells me he's spending more than $100,000 on renovation and is determined to make it work. After the city council said no to a liquor license recommendation and the Liquor Control Commission denied it last month, Kurtzuba now plans to appeal, first with the Lancaster County District Court. Given the level of interest in this matter, I think we would anticipate that regardless of the outcome at the district court level, uh, that Mr. Kurtzuba may find himself at the Nebraska Court of Appeals or Supreme Court level. Some nearby schools, businesses, and city leaders still have concerns, saying even if there's no alcohol, they still don't want the business here. It is within the rights to pursue this mechanism should they choose to do that, but I think the city council and the liquor commission and the neighborhood for sure was very clear uh, about their opposition to it, and we think our case is strong, and we think the court will uphold those decisions. In Omaha, Shindon, KETV, Newswatch 7.